Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Arknights reaction. Today we have March on. This one has also been on my list for a very long while, so I'm figuring why not get to it? We're still on the list. We're still getting stuff on the list. So without further ado, let's go. You know what? For the title, I didn't actually expect immediate marching snare, but now I'm- I feel silly. I, sh I should have expected that. Ooh. Got a lot of beefy brass. Hell yeah. Oh! Oh! I didn't... Oh no, I didn't do it again. I was hoping the anvil strikes would happen again. I love the build of this one. This one's super neat. <laughs> I say that every time. The power, the power on this one. Lighten up the vocals a little bit. The instrumental does not lighten up, though. <laughs> not for anyone. Great note. Great note. <laughs> oh, guitar solo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bros just like shredding casually. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh man did she actually hit that note there at the end hold up She cut out super early, but she did hit it. They definitely accented it by using the guitar there to like sustain that note, but she hit that note. I just assume she couldn't hold that power, that much power for that long of a note that high. Insane that she even got there for having the range that she was singing in through that whole song. Are you kidding me? I just thought that with Mephisto the other day, I, I that that range was very solid. Never mind. New Queen. Going from that, hearing the extremely powerful instrumental underneath it and the extremely strong vocals that were just working in a perfect unison. That was so good. That guitar solo made no sense. It had no, no purpose in being there, but I'm glad it was there. Casually just kind of dancing around the notes and then all of a sudden just a quick measure or two of shred. It's just like, okay, fine. You do you, like, wow. <laughs> all in all, that was a really, really good song. The power and energy of that song makes me want to go to war. 
it it <laughs> it kind of hits me similar to like listening to Sabaton. It it makes me want to go to war, fighting the Crusades. You know, like <laughs> it's just such a unique power to get me hyped like that. And that song did it. I was a fantastic song. The percussive elements at the beginning, using the anvil. I, that was so cool. And just that one time, I don't think it ever happened again throughout that song. I feel like I would have remembered it happening again. But it's just the fact that they used it at all was super cool. And I loved that they did it. I'm not mad that they utilized such a unique sound percussively for just a single measure. Because that means it had that much of an impact at that specific part of the song. It felt like the song at the start was being forged. And then the rest of it was just the battle to come, you know? It, what an immense sound. That was so big. Huge. Huge mungus. Absolutely fantastic. That's gonna go on my playlist for sure. Yet another one. So that was a fantastic song. I think I've said all I need to say. So if you want to support me, by all means do so. I'll be having some animation reactions and breakdowns coming out in the next couple days. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and watch them. If you want to support me more, I have a Patreon. You can find the link in the description below. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!